Happy Thursday, kindergarten, and welcome to today's Read Aloud. Today, we are going to read Little Red Gliding Hood. It's written by Tara Lazar and pictures by Tro Troy Cummings. Let's name the letters in the title. L, I, T, T, L, E, little. R, E, D, red. Red, red. Gliding hood, that's in cursive and that's why I just said the letters. Little red gliding hood. It was winter and the river winding through the enchanted forest was frozen solid. A girl raced down to the river's edge and laced up her skates. Then she swizzled and twizzled across the ice. She did fancy figure eights, lovely loops, and willowy waltz jumps. Her spins were superb. Everyone called her Little Red Gliding Hood. Little red skates were worn in and worn out. No longer snow white and a little too tight. She frowned at the creases and crumples. Soon she wouldn't be able to use them to skate to grandma's. She went there every Sunday. No more visits with grandma? Little Red Riding Hood or Little Red couldn't imagine. She swizzled down the river and saw a flurry of friends gathering beneath a banner. A pairs skating competition. The prize, a brand new skates. Ooh, slippery slush, I've got to win. But Little Red needed a skating partner. The dish danced with a spoon and Hansel spun Gretel like sugar. Little Red had no one. She asked each of her friends. Little Boy Blue just shivered and quivered. T -t 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 Too cold. The seven dwarves were more interested in passing a puck around. Old MacDonald slipped and fell. E-I-E-I, -E -I, ouch. Little Red shook her head. None of these partners would do. Maybe Grandma could help find a partner. Little Red whisked off to Grandma's cottage, skating swiftly to avoid the big bad wolf. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house I go. Little Red arrived safely. Oh, slippery slush, said, she said to Grandma, slumping into a chair. I can't find a partner for the skating competition. How about the gingerbread man? He's very sweet, said Grandma. But he's much too fast. I can't catch him, said Little Red. I bet Baby Bear would be just right for you, said Grandma. But Goldilocks thought so first. I know who, said Grandma. The three little pigs just moved into the brick house next door. You should ask one of them. So Little Red skated to the pig's door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Someone tapped a Little Red on the shoulder. Excuse me, said the big bad wolf. I think that's my line. Eek, the wolf. Little Red sprinted away. Her worn in, worn out laces began to unravel. Hey, glide back here, yelled the wolf, giving chase. He swizzled and twizzled across the ice. Little Red pushed on faster, 
but her boots were lopsided and loose. Stop, yelled the wolf. He steered clear of fallen branches with fancy footwork and sly spins in pursuit of Little Red. Uh-oh, Little Red's skate flew off. Oh, slippery slush! The wolf jumped in front of Little Red and caught her. Little Red shivered with fear. Ah, uh, You're wonderful! The wolf gently put Little Red down. Whoa, whoa, what? You're a super skater, but I was trying to warn you, your laces are untied. Oh, Little Red couldn't believe it. This was the big bad wolf? Happens to me all the time, said the wolf. My skates are older than Rep Rip Van Winkle. Little Red stared at his worn in, worn out pair, and then she had a grand idea. The day of the competition, Little Red arrived early. She laced up her worn in, worn out skates, hugged Grandma, and stepped onto the ice. Trumpets blared with, fan with a fanfare, announcing the official warm up. But as the competitors swirled and twirled, a dark figure came zooming toward them. A boy cried, Wolf! The wolf frightened Little Miss Muffet away. She bumped Little Jack Horner into the corner. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and Jack and Jill came tumbling after. What a mess! Skaters skidded and spilled all over. The old woman who lived in a shoe had so many children on the ice, she didn't know what to do. Little Red got mixed up in the mayhem. Help, she cried. The big bad wolf raced over. He lifted Little Red high. Put Little Red down now, the woodcutter warned, grabbing his ax. Oh, slippery slush, said Little Red. He's my partner. The crowd was stunned. It got so quiet you could hear the ice freeze. All the king's horses and all the king's men put the competition together again. Music swelled and the pairs took to the ice. They wore flowing costumes and danced on ice like the prince and Cinderella at the ball. In fact, the royal couple were in the competition. The tortoise and the hare made a splendid pair. Jack Spratt and his wife did too. Then Little Red Gliding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf swizzled and twizzled across the ice. They did fancy figure eights, lovely loops, and willowy waltz jumps. Their spins were superb. No one could believe the big bad wolf was actually good. That's a performance I'll remember happily ever after, cheered Grandma. Ten, 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 ten. The judges all gave ten. The judges whispered, they nodded, they scrawled, they raised a row of perfect tens. Little Red, and the big not-so-bad wolf were named the winners. Oh my, what big skates you have, said Little Red. The wolf flashed a toothy grin. All the better to glide with you, my dear. The end.